Hello everyone, this is Joni from uh, Designs by Joni L. And uh, I have come back to uh, finish the uh, first part of my uh, uh, video on the uh, decoupage, on the uh, clear container. And so this will be my second uh, part on it. And um, I had uh, put my decoupage and everything on it, my um, vase. And uh, I wanted to see how it had worked out, and I had to let it dry before I could do anything else to it. So I let it dry, and then I put one other coat of um, the um, decoupage on it. And um, I didn't put a sealer on it, but uh, I think that I will put a varnish uh, sealer on it. But I like it the way it is right now, and as you can see, um, it looks pretty good. And um, it doesn't have a lot of the wrinkles in it because as it dried, a lot of those left. And um, it's uh, looking very pretty, I think. And uh, I'm well pleased with it. And um, I will be trying some more of this now that I have finished this one and did a successful job on it. Um, because I do really like uh, the decoupage and what the effects can give you. So, um, this is what I chose. I chose the blue flowers. Now this, um, I can tell you some things that um, I did that I felt was wrong uh, as I was watching my video uh, after I got it recorded. Uh, I think that um, I went over it much too uh, more than what I would had had to because I was taking a chance that uh, the napkin would tear and I don't think that I should have put that much stress on it but um, it held up to it and uh, I was very thankful for that but I do think that uh, after I got the first coat on it after I got the uh, napkin on and it was sealed down I should have just brushed lightly over it and I should have gone all in uh, one direction, not uh, changed directions. And uh, so far I haven't been able, I haven't had to, let's put it that way, uh, put any uh, thing on here to cover holes or anything in it that um, could have happened the way I was doing it. And uh, it just um, turned out really well, is all I can say. And um, But I do think that um, in the future, I know in the future, I will not be uh, putting as much pressure on my brush and I will not uh, be going over it uh, and over it and over again in my second coat because uh, that napkin is, it was just so fragile because it was a three-ply and uh, when you have that three-ply and then you take the two away, you have virtually little left. And uh, so um, I put that down, and uh, it was just hanging in here by a thread, you might say. But uh, it really did. It turned out well. And then I have the little um, lights inside, as you can see. And um, that makes it even more prettier than what it was. But it's pretty without the lights. And uh, I took the uh, little flowers to match the uh, napkins and put them on. And then I just put the, the little string around its, um, the uh, container. And uh, I wrapped it around about five times. And uh, it's, it's very effective. And I think that it will uh, be a good accent for just about any room that you would want to put it in. And um, so I have some other tutorials I have to get done today. I'm, I'm planning on doing about three because I am so far behind that I don't know if I'll ever get caught up. But this is the completion to uh, my first one on the decoupage with the uh, clear glass vase. And uh, so if you do like this, I am still looking for um, people to subscribe to my channel. And uh, I do think that I'm doing uh, good work. And I try to use a variety of things so that uh, people will be interested in what I'm doing. It will interest someone. And um, because there are so many 
um, different tastes out there. They're so diversified. But um, it's um, nice to be able to put up different things, and that's what I have been doing so far. And uh, so I'm happy with all of that. So if you do like my work and you uh, like my channel and you want to see more work like this, uh, subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, become a, um, a follower of mine because, like I say, I'm putting new things on a lot. And um, I'm looking at one right here right now that I can just show you. It isn't completed and I just knocked my glue gun over. But um, this is what um, I did one time, one summer, uh, when I was traveling with my husband. And um, we were out of town and he was working. So I just stayed around the hotel and I went out and bought some cross stitch and this looked like our little granddaughter because that's the way she always looked out the window to see her papa waiting for her papa and her aunt Tony to come home. I got this and I did this and I saw that in my uh, Christmas closet the other day and I thought, oh, I've got to get that out and get it framed. So that's just uh, another one of the things that I do and um, I think that you'll like that also. So that's, uh, my fields are diversified and um, but if you do like what you're seeing and uh, you would like to continue seeing them, uh, like I said, subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And um, I will be talking to you on my next video, which I plan on starting probably in about an hour. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you soon. And you come back and we'll craft some more. Thank you. Bye-bye.